Now the community is at this at this tipping point, right, of saying, well, if, if I go this way, um, and the federal government then decides to throw a whole bunch of money over here, then I'm too far down this, this path to turn around. So it, it's kind of interesting for me to see, uh, at least through my lens, and I'm kind of trying to see the community for the first time in a long time, kind of struggle with the future of where we want to go and who is that going to be dictated by? It's going to be dictated by the government, it's going to be dictated by the vendors, uh, or is it going to be dictated, dictated by the by scientists? Us? Right. I think the next year is going to be quite telling in that arena <laughs> because ultimately what I see and what I'm trying to help with along with several others is it has been a little bit of the wild west out there and we need to rein it in and we need to have the scientists involved in that. We need to have the people that work in crime labs um, come together at the table. We need to have all stakeholders that are involved in this process at the table because the reason that forensic STR typing has survived the 35 years that it has and has maintained the credibility and the gold standard status is because of things like robust validation and methodical diligence and implementing standards and best practices early on. Whereas with forensic genetic genealogy, we just started using it without any of that in place. One thing I do love about ISHI is that even though it's a super large conference when comparing it to some of our smaller regional conferences, um, we're doing a lot together, right? So we're all in, kind of uh, being enriched with the same information.